Okay, boy. Looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> ain't looking for friends out on the road. Howdy.
Mister? What reason do you have to be here? Hello? Come in. Sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm, I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection. And healing. Passing you. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. 
This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. Easy now. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Hold up a moment. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. It turned out some bastards had come through, robbed them, and shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me, feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Whoa. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. This will combine well. <whistles> if 
mix these together. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. I appreciate the herbs, but... I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor, and... He says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in... Me, Dutch, and the others... I don't know how long I got, but... Some of them... They still got a chance to have a life. I just think it... If I could give them that, then... Maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't. Be. No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A ceremonial pipe. There must be some clue as to what happened here. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa.
Range fall, over here. Think I see an army camp. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser.
Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Oh, I really need your help, friend. Hey, what Relaxed. the hell? Get away Again. from me. You came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Well, calm down, miss. Oh, come on. Let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or, or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters, if God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo, why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. And Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up. Or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. 
makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. Get out of my way. You came. <laughs> you came. What last you came? Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. Oh, but I love you. I love you, Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Oh. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. <clears throat> can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Of course. <sighs> Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey, no, you leave us alone. Penelope, get back. Oh. Excuse me, Alden. You leave them alone. Get off me. You leave them alone. Get, them alone. Yeah. Yeah. get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You want to come back here without giving you a whipping? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, boy. Go to your woman. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. Ah, oh, now there's only one of you. It was dumb. family you've got there, sir. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how do life? Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? Black. 
it's over. Look! Is that the driver? He's abandoning us! Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister. We stopped. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old... Family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. I couldn't take it. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, um... You carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Mm -hmm. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. 
Holy. Yeah! 